Hello friends! Today we are going to learn how to add a metahuman to our fighting game. This is an updated tutorial as the metahuman functionality has been changed since my last tutorial on this topic. And in the following lesson I hope we will also cover working with DAS 3D characters in our fighting game. Let me remind the true fighting game engine is my project for Unreal Engine that allows you create your own AAA class fighting games. You can easily add attacks, combos and hit animations, import characters based on any skeletons and create either single player or multiplayer fighting games. You can check out my other tutorials in this playlist learn how to do all of this. And with the true fighting game engine you can create either Mortal Kombat style or Tekken style games depending on your needs. You can find the link to that project in the description below this video. So let's start with the tutorial. Dear friends, I will not guide you through the entire process of creation of the metahuman in Unreal Engine 5.6. Uh, because there are a plenty of tutorials already on this topic. So, for the sake of this tutorial, I have already opened the True Fighting Game Engine project in Unreal Engine 5.6 editor, and I have already created a metahuman character inside this project. And this metahuman is being stored in my metahumans folder and its blueprint is BP my metahuman. So first thing we want to do is to create a fighter character from this blueprint. So let's open up our content drawer, go to through FG, demo characters and create a new folder and let's name it metahuman. Now I'm going to go back to my metahuman blueprint and select this blueprint and drag it to this newly created metahuman folder and drop it and I select the copy here to have a duplicate of this blueprint and I will rename it to BP underscore MH, which stands for Metahuman Fighter. And I save everything now and open up the BP MH Fighter. And first things first, let's click this class settings option and let's set the parent class for this. Metahuman fighter to be the true FG base character. And you see it added all the functionality from the base fighter character. What we want to do now is we select this body component from the components tab is selected entirely as its children and we drag it and drop to the mesh component so it is now a child of the mesh component and we can now delete this root component let's now try to compile and we see an error let's go and see and here in the inside the set update animation fun function we want to set the body as a target for this get children components function so let's just get this body component from the components tab and drag it to the graph and drop it and let's make a connection let's try to compile now and it compiles okay now let's back. Let's now let's go back to the viewport, and now we want to retarget these queen animations to this metahuman. Uh, 
character. So let's go to our MetaHuman folder and right click on the empty space and we want to create an animation blueprint. As the skeleton for this animation blueprint, we want to use this MetaHuman base skeleton and we click create and let's name it ABP which stands for animation blueprint underscore image underscore fighter and let's open it up and here in the anim graph let's right click on the empty space and we want to search for retarget pose from mesh and we add this node and we make a connection let's compile what we want to do at the right in the details tab we want to set this ik retargeter asset and we select this rtg mannequin and we compile and we save and we can just ignore this warning we just save everything now let's go back to the bp mh fighter and with the body mesh selected at the right in the details tab we set the animation mode to use animation blueprint and as the blueprint we want to set our abp mh fighter and you see the animations are being retargeted at runtime now all we want to do is to reset the transform location and rotation for our metahuman now we select the mesh and we type this we uncheck the visible option and also in this visibility based anim tick option we want to select always tick pose and refresh pose we compile and we save and what we also want to do we go to the construction script and we right click on this construction script node and we add a call to parent function and we rewire the connections in this way and we also go to the event graph and we set the calls to parent functions for these nodes for the event begin play we add a call to parent function for the actor begin overlap we add a call for parent function as well and we also do this for tick add call to parent function and we make a connection now we compile and we save ah and we go back to the viewport and we select the root component bp mh fighter and we want to set its name let's type character and instead of the queen let's just type here metahuman we compile and we save and now all we need to do is to add this fighter to our game system we open up our content drawer and navigate to blueprints miscellaneous and we open up the bp through fg functions blueprint In this make map node we right click and we add a key value pair and as we retarget from the queen mesh and as we retarget our metahuman from the queen mesh we can just duplicate this node which is set up for the queen we make a connection and we are going to use the same moveset the same heat map but we want to change the character bp so for the character bp we select we select the blueprint named bp mh fighter which we just have just created we compile and we save and now 
let's go to the true FG blueprints folder and the very last step we open up our game instance BP and here we see these four variables character left character right character left name character right name let's set the name of the character left so we select this character left name variable and you remember we changed the name of our metahuman to <laughs> just a metahuman all right we could be more creative but is what we did in our blueprint and we set this now we go to the character left variable and we can actually set the heatmap to be the queen 2 we use the skm queen mesh as the default mesh because we retarget from it if you remember but as the character bp we set the bp mh fighter which stands for blueprint metahuman fighter and we compile and we save now ah and you know what we have forgot let's open up our blueprints uh, miscellaneous and go back to our bp through fg functions and when we edit the key value pair key for value for we have forgot to write the name of the fighter as the k value so let's type metahuman here and we compile and we save and now at our outliner at the top right let's select the bp through fg settings and delete it and we just want to find the instance of the bp through fg settings in this blueprints folder and we drag it and drop to the scene and let's now run the game and you see we have added our metahuman and it works fine and that's it for today thanks for watching and see you next time goodbye